Well, 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 check this out guys for Wednesday morning. This was all open yesterday. The only ice here was in this corner, which I'm going to show you and we'll be right back. Morning guys, here we go. Tuesday morning, 27th I believe. Check it out. You see that? Not so much ice, but slush. It'll be turning into ice. There's ice there. Big difference, eh guys? So anyway, looking good. And this ice is going to hang. It's going to stay, guys. Skim ice going to stay. Anyway, let's go check out the end of uh, Guilford Road. Beauty. Okay, guys. Remember this? I showed you this yesterday. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll go right back to it right now, and we'll be right back. Have a look at this local marina, guys. That's uh, ice starting in the corner there. See all the uh, seagulls? Different story today, guys, right? Even more ice in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting. Skim ice is starting. Anyway, if you guys are hard up for some fishable ice, see that bridge there? You can go under that bridge, guys. Take your boot, punch a hole in the ice, and fish. All right, guys, anyway, we'll be right back from the end of Guilford Road. But before we get to Guilford Road, guys, just to let you know, putting your hut out in Cook's Bay this winter, and it's a big one, right through here, the end of 89, guys. It's got some uh, posts at the end of Guilford Road. Might give you some, uh, some troubles to navigate through that area. But anyway, big huts in 89, guys. Be right back. One other thing, guys. I used to walk in that marina and give you ice reports from the end of a dock. But because I got this guy right now, I'm not going to do that. Just because you might fall in, eh, Zach? And that would lead to complications. So I'm not going to do that this season. But I can tell you... It's, I see skim ice in there, guys. Anyway, let's head to the end of Guilford Road. Okay, guys, so here we go. The end of Guilford Road. Yes, open water. But one day in the next two weeks, that's going to change. What'll happen is I'll come down here and poof, all of a sudden the ice will be there. Unsafe, of course, but It'll be here, and it'll be the start, okay? But nobody can predict how the actual ice forms, okay? Sometimes we get ice right across the bay. Sometimes it's like a donut with a big open area in the middle. That's why it's ice reports, the way you do them are very You got to do them in a way where it doesn't leave any stone unturned, guys. Because, you know, even if the ice is safe out here, it might not be safe out there. So what we do here on the Cooks Bay Fishing Board is we don't give the okay until the ice is safe here and there. But we watch it all and we know what it's doing. But anyway, this is what we get, guys. Wednesday morning, 28th, it's about uh, 7.30 minus 4, so we're looking good. Anyway, one thing about the uh, live cams that we got, the only problems with the, like, the live cams, guys, is that in the morning, when you wake up to check the cams, everything is dark, so we can't help that. But anyway, you can come back later on in the day, and you can see how your favorite lake is doing, Lake Nipissing. Lake Simcoe, the 400, the 401, the 404. You can see how the roads or conditions are. Anyway, check it out now, as a matter of fact. See what you think. Anyway, that's what we get. First thing, I'm going to be talking to you dudes real soon. Start making your plans, boys. Icecabins.com Yeah, baby.